So you just got back from the club where you played an amazing DJ set, and you want to upload that so the rest of your fans can enjoy it. But before you do that, I'm going to show you how to use Fennec, Z-Plane's loudness metering plugin, to refine that mix to make sure that you give your listeners the best experience possible. Let's dive in. So you might be asking yourself, why do I need a loudness metering plugin like Fennec when I've already got level meters almost everywhere I look? There's level meters on my DJ mixer. In fact, I was looking at them while doing the performance. There's level meters in my DAW. And when I load the recording into my DAW and look at the waveform, well, it looks perfectly flat all the way from beginning to end. How are my levels not perfect already? Well, the truth is, there's a difference between a level meter and a loudness meter. A level meter is more of a technical measurement that's trying to express the dynamic capabilities of the audio system that's being used. It's basically telling you whether the audio signal is within the headroom capabilities of that device or whether it's gone over. This is very important when you're recording audio because if you exceed the maximum headroom that the system can handle, you're going to get some kind of distortion. Similarly, if you're playing back and you're pegging the meters all the way up in the red, it's very likely that you're overdriving the amplifiers and causing distortion on playback. Now, a loudness meter like Fennec is actually measuring a perceptual quantity. It's trying to estimate the loudness that we as humans would experience from the audio, considering all the special physics of our ears and our brains. And this can be different from the actual technical levels going through the system. So while a waveform like this might look perfectly flat from beginning to end, Fennec might reveal a different story happening behind the waveform. Fennec is best used by putting it on the master track in your DAW. And when you load it up, it's totally empty, but to begin capturing data, all you have to do is begin playback and it comes to life. Uh, over on the right, these are the true peak meters, which are essentially the same type of meters that you see in your DAW. But these meters here are the short-term and momentary loudness. And these are the special meters that represent the perceived volume of the audio that's coming through. And as the audio plays through, these levels are being captured over here on the left in the history view. There's a little cursor moving to the right, just like the playhead in your DAW. So this maintains time alignment with the timeline in your DAW, so you can see exactly where peaks and valleys happen in the loudness, which will be helpful when we go to compensate for volume changes later. Now, this DJ mix is 50 minutes long. We could just let it play for 50 minutes until we've captured all the data, but since this is an audio plugin, it will actually run faster than real time. So we can measure the entirety of this mix just by exporting the mix at this point. So I'm going to reset and then trigger the export in Ableton and let it run. All right, the export is finished, so let's open up Fennec and see what data it's captured. Uh, we can zoom out here and take a look at the full, oh yeah. All right, so this is interesting. Even though we saw basically a flat line for levels in the waveform, the momentary, vol uh, momentary loudness that's been captured here in the history view is actually going up and down quite a bit. Uh, using our mouse here, we can see uh, the momentary level at various time points. So right here at about 10 minutes, we can see that the momentary loudness was minus 12. But then over here at about 20 minutes, it's all the way up at minus 9. So this is, yeah, this is over a 3 dB difference between these two sections. So these actually should sound quite different. And we can take a look at that here. We can confirm it in Ableton by starting at about 10 minutes. And comparing that to the 20 minute mark. Whoa, yeah, yeah. This is a lot louder here than it was back here. Even though it doesn't look significantly different in the waveform. And as we can see, this has actually happened a bunch. The uh, beginning was kind of low, and then it got high, then it came down again, up, down, up, down, up, down. And uh, this can be rather jarring for a listener at home who's probably expecting a bit more of a consistent level. They don't want to be getting up and turning up and turning down their speaker speakers while listening to this mix. So what we can do to fix that is add a utility plugin 
to this track. And um, other DAWs can do this differently, but in Ableton Live, I like to use the utility plugin because then I can automate the gain with it. And um, I've already gone through and applied a bunch of automation here. And so for example, at the 10 minute mark where it was showing that the level was a bit low, I've added 1.8 dB of gain. And then at the 20 minute mark, where it was significantly louder, you can see I've brought it down by almost two dB. So again, there's over, there's about three and a half, a little more than that difference uh, in dB between those two levels. And I've just put a bunch of automation in based on the level changes that I saw in Fennec. And so now if I export this again, I should get something that looks a lot flatter. So let's try it out. Go back into Fennec, reset the results and then trigger a new export from Ableton Live. All right, so that second export is done and let's just take a look at the new data that Fennec has collected. Oh yeah, this looks much nicer now. This is a nice generally flat line all the way from beginning to end. Yes, there are still natural changes where the kick drum came out or where bass was cut with the EQs, but it's much less of a roller coaster like we were seeing before. Uh, if you recall at the 10 minute mark, uh, compared to the 20 minute mark, there was almost a three, three and a half dB difference between those two areas, but they look almost flat now. And in fact, we can verify that uh, with a quick listen. Let's listen to the 10 minute mark again. And compare that to 20 minutes. There we go. In fact, we can keep jumping around. Yeah. So no matter where we jump in this mix now, the levels all sound consistent with one another. And that consistent level from beginning to end will create a much more pleasant listening experience for your fans at home. Now, before you go and upload this to a website, I wanna show you one other important feature of Fennec, and that is its presets. Now, I want to upload this, for example, to Apple as an Apple podcast. So I'm gonna choose the Apple podcast preset from the list. And as we can see, there's a number of red values all over the screen here. And these are telling me that the uh, current measured values exceed the targets for this particular platform. Now, as it turns out, every streaming platform has its own levels that it wants you to adhere to. And uh, we've gone through all the trouble of collecting all those various specifications and building them into the preset so you don't have to do that research. So in this case, Apple Podcast, if we look at the setup screen and scroll down, we can see the targets that Apple wants. Uh, they want the integrated loudness, the average loudness of the mix from beginning to end to be at about minus 16 plus or minus one dB. And they also want the max true peak level to not exceed minus one. But as we can see here, the true peak level has gone way over and we're also over here, you know, over the 16 uh, dB target that they wanted. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this down by like 5.1 dB or so, and I'm going to reset and re-export. And now at the end of this, uh, we should have numbers where there's no more red indicators, meaning that this is good to upload. Let's check it out. All right, so let's take a look at the results. Sure enough, everything looks good. Uh, when we zoom out, we still have the nice flat level that we expected, but we don't have any red marks over here anymore. Minus 16, that's right within the range that was uh, required for Apple Music, and there's no more true peaks being exceeded. So this is good to upload to Apple Music. But what if I wanted to upload this same thing to YouTube? Well, I can select the YouTube preset. Ah, but now this has turned red. And that's because YouTube has a different target for integrated loudness. When we take a look, they're expecting minus 14 plus or minus one dB. So at minus 16, this is actually too quiet. So in order to fix that, I just need to turn this up by about two dB. And then I should be able to reset and re-export this and verify that this is all good for YouTube. All right, so that export is done. And when we take a look, yep, perfect, right? We still have our nice flat mix and there's no red lights anywhere. This is still perfect for YouTube standards. We're at the right target for integrated loudness and the peaks don't exceed minus one. So this is also good to upload. 
So now that we've done all this work and prepared the uploads for both Apple Music and YouTube, I think one thing that could be interesting to look at is what does this waveform actually look like with this being leveled? Well, all we need to do is just re-import one of our tracks like the Apple Music, put it here on a new track and let it render out. All right, so this is pretty interesting. This is the end resulting waveform of our now loudness normalized mix. So unlike what we saw up here in the original, which looked flat, this is actually going to sound flat. So this is what I mean when there might be a different story happening behind the waveform versus what your ears are gonna actually hear. So if you would like to try out Fennec for yourself, you can download a demo of it on the zplane.de website. The demo will allow you to measure about five minutes worth of audio. Obviously that's not enough for a DJ mix, but it can be interesting to do some spot checks in your mix to verify the levels are mainly consistent. Fennec works as a VST, VST3, AU, and AAX plugin, and it also comes with a standalone version of the app that allows you to monitor the volume of audio coming live into your computer, which can be a great tool while you're actually performing. So that's how Fennec can make your DJ mixes sound super pro before you upload them. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.